Welcome, this is 49E6 and this is superposition principle for electric force. So, electric force is a vector and so when we add up uh, the uh, electric forces caused by different charges um, then we've got to add them up vectorially. So here's my uh, picture of this situation. I have a charge Q that's in the middle and it's surrounded by these other charges. Um, I can see, for example, that big Q1 is the opposite sign because Q has been attracted and big Q2 is the same charge because Q has been repelled. Big Q3 is the opposite charge and big Q4 is the opposite charge. So each of these force vectors has a, a magnitude and it has a direction. And so we have to add them up vectorially. We say uh, the net, the overall, the vector sum force that charge little q experiences due to the group of point charges equals the vector sum of the electric forces caused by the individual charges. So if I'm having a conversation with one person, they get my full attention. And then if I have a conversation with a second person, I have to take some of my attention away from person one to talk with person two. If they're both talking to me, I can only give them half my attention each. But it's not like that with things like vector force. I can be being pushed by one charge, which is causing one vector force. And you can bring a second charge close to me. And what that will do is that will add a second vector force. The original force is not diminished or increased or whatever. It's You just add the forces. You don't distract a force. You just add another force to it. So the equation is that the uh, vector force is equal to the sum of all the little vector forces. And that is the sum of all my Ke's, my different Q's, my, my Q, my different Qi's and my different radii's and my different distances. Cool. So, let's look at a, a good example of this. Here's a good example. It's a classic example you see it in a whole bunch of physics books because it brings in a bit of trig. Um, but this basically says four equal positive charges. So, one, two, three, four, W, X, Y, Z. Lay at points indicated in the diagram. They're all on uh, 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 equilateral, equilateral triangles, two meters to the side. Uh, the magnitude of the force experienced by charge X is charge X uh, caused by charge Y, so there's charge Y, is 3 Newtons. Uh, they're all positive, so that will be there, and that's 3 Newtons. Um, what is the magnitude and the direction of the force experienced by charge Z? Okay, so... Let's focus on charge Z. Charge Z will feel a repulsive force caused by X. It will feel a repulsive force caused by Y. And it will feel a repulsive force caused by W. And we said here that equal positive charges, so these will be repulsive forces. And that the example they gave was a 3 Newton force so this is three newtons in that directions three newtons in that directions and three newtons in that directions and now the exercise becomes can i add these up vectorially and the, probably the easiest way to do this is to break this vector into two components and break this vector into two components and what I immediately see is that oh this vertical component cancels out that vertical component and so we have to find out what these uh, uh, components are at the side and if this is an uh, equilateral triangle then these angles are all 60 And so we see that uh, that means that this angle here is 60. It's straight.
straight line and a straight line and this angle here is 60. So then this means that this is 3 cosine 60 and this is 3 cosine 60. And so my vector force is going to equal 3 cosine 60 plus 3 plus 3 cosine 60. So this is equal to and you look it up and it's 1.5 plus 3 plus 1.5 so my vector force well the size of my vector force is 6 newtons and if we look at this it is to the right so there we have it